include miscellaneous item here? Correct. Okay, miscellaneous item, and we're going to say uh, paint wall, and we will call that a thousand dollars. Okay, so I did a thousand dollar paint wall per uh, bid or per invoice. Okay, hit OK. All right, so now we have an item in living room that has a modified price, right? And we've got an item in dining room that is a miscellaneous item, a write-in. Anything else you want there, Brian? Uh, let's, uh, let's replace an interior flush door without a lock set, okay. without putting a line item for lock set. Yeah, yeah. Interior door. Um, let's just do door unit. That should do the trick, although make sure it doesn't uh, exclude lock set. Okay, okay, good. Okay, good. So we got a door, uh, interior door unit in there. All right, so I'm going to go back to complete. Okay, I have, uh, I have all of my required information taken care of, and I'm going to change the estimate status to complete it. Okay. Now here's I'm going to get a warning. It says, look, uh, some items may be confusing for estimate recipients. Correction of these items or adding notes about unusual circumstances should save time and improve your success potential. So, to exit the inspection without making corrections, click the close button, enter a note in the inspection bypass form. So, what it's telling me to do is, hey. You got some problems here. Go fix them, and then come back and try to complete again. But let's say I'm saying no, no, no. Exactimate's wrong. I don't have any problems. I wrote this estimate exactly like I want. This is correct. Exactimate's wrong. That I got a problem. Okay. So if I if I'm if that's what I believe, and I click close, okay, it's going to ask me to give an explanation for these problems. All right, and I would say something like uh, um, uh, the door that is being replaced does not have a lock uh, set in it now or something, right? Also, the painting at uh, the living room, uh, so on and so on, right? Blah, blah. Okay, so I, I'm giving an explanation as to why there are these violations. Okay? Hit OK. My spell check. Let me just hit my spell check. Lock. Set. Place. Place. Door. Okay, hit OK. Okay, do I want to resequence the line number? Sure, why not? Okay, it's going to complete it for me. Okay. Now, um, I am going back to print and uh, there it is, upload. Okay, now since this is an assignment, I have an additional option here called upload. I'll click on Upload. Reports you uploaded have been sent to the Outbox. Connect to Exact Analysis to complete the upload. Thank you. Close this. Save my estimate. Folks, there's a lot of steps, so I'm going to be going, this, going through this again. So here's my Outbox. Okay. I'm going to connect. Give it just a second. Done. All right. Now, I've received an assignment through exact analysis, made some, you know, pretended like I have done an estimate in it, completed it, 
and then uploaded it through exact analysis. I've received it and I sent it. And now we get to see what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. We're so going to see what's going to happen when your company receives it. So, Brian, with your permission, I'm going to uh, change your role to presenter so we can see your screen. You ready? Okay. Yep. Okay. If you're looking at my screen, you should see an invitation to share your desktop. Please accept that. And I'm going to put myself on mute. And you're going to, you're going to walk through what's going on in your end. Okay. <clears throat> I've had some computer problems today, some internet problems, so um, I'm going to do the best I can. I also came down with strep throat last night, so y'all bear with me. Um, what I'm currently showing you now is uh, what we see in exact analysis. Um, we're able to assign losses to a specific adjuster, um, review everything we get back. Now, we went in and did some violations in there. And uh, as you'll see right here in red, it says that the audit report has findings and that a price deviation ex exists. That's where uh, Adam went in and changed that price. It does alert the client that a price deviation does exist and that, that somebody went in and finagled some prices in there. Uh, the one thing that I can't do on a test assignment is um, in, in this area right here, we normally have a, uh, a review uh, tab. Uh, we can review these, these estimates and quality review them prior to the client seeing them. The client will not see them until we mark it complete. So that's, that's a beautiful little step that we have um, in the QA process of these. Uh, we can also do what they call collaboration. And right here uh, is the collaboration area. Uh, I could take Adam's estimate if uh, I thought that he messed something up and, and something that I can fix, or, or he may have uh, deleted or, or omitted a line item, or there may be one where the quantities need to be different, may not be written exactly to the client's specifications. I can collaborate that estimate, meaning I can take it and actually assign it to my Xactimate and do all those changes and then send it back up and I never have to bottom, bother Adam again. Uh, that, that's important because with all this uh, Scottsdale stuff that we all love so much uh, and, and we've all been in a situation where we've had to, to go back and touch a file three or four times, we don't have to do that anymore. With this, as long as it's something that I can take care of, I'll go in and take care of it. You never have to come back out of the field to do something simple. We do that for you. Now, exact analysis is broke down much like exact mate by tabs. So we have details, mm -hmm. client policy, and I'm not going to go through every one of these just for, for time's sake. Mm -hmm. um, it'll map the areas, uh, do several different things. We also have a notes tab. And some of our clients are big on the notes, <laughs> excuse me, the big on the notes feature. Um, some of our allied uh, nationwide line of business, they like to see those notes in there. So uh, if, if you are working a claim that you need notes added, we'll get together. Brenda, we need to talk about that, um, and I'll show you how to do notes. But basically, this is where we can, we can uh, talk back and forth with the client, and we can put everything in, in hard writing what's going on. Now, with these, you need to understand that everything that goes into exact analysis is permanent. It never, ever, ever will come out. There's nothing we can do about that or exact where can do about it. So when adding a note, you need to make sure that professionalism is uh, at its utmost and uh, that everything's copacetic with uh, your spelling and, and what you're trying to say. Now, when he sent that, uh, that stuff back, that completed estimate, here's where all that comes in. Now, this is what the client sees. We'll go in, depending on the client, place our invoice in there, our reporting, uh, all of that stuff. But the client sees a final draft with without removal depreciation, which is our standard uh, form of sending one. Uh, see an audit summary report. Now, let's take a look at that. Again, I'm sorry, y'all. <clears throat> now, Brian, this, these, these other reports were automatically created even though I wasn't creating them intentionally. These are things that come along automatically with the, with the submitted uh, exact analysis uh, project, right? Assignment? Correct. Correct. These are generated on every one of them. So if you have no audit violations, then you never have to worry about it. Uh, if you do have one, that's why that explanation that uh, Adam typed in is so important because that tells the client why we did what we did. 